Hi there. In this video, we'll learn about Pythagoras theorem or Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras theorem states a special relationship between the lengths of any right angle triangle, that is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, where C is the longest side opposite to the right angle, and we generally call it hypotenuse, and A and B can be interchangeably the two shorter sides. Learning objectives. After watching this video, you will be able to use Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is used to work out a missing side in right angle triangles when two sides are given and no angles are involved. Generally, the longest side of a right angle triangle, which is called hypotenuse, is labeled as C, and the two shorter sides are labeled as A or B interchangeably. As mentioned before, that this theorem states that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. This formula can actually be rearranged in quite a few different ways. For example, a squared equals c squared minus b squared, or b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared, or simply c is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared, or a is equal to square root of c squared minus b squared, or b is equal to square root of c squared minus a squared, depending on which side we're going to work out. Let's start from question number one. It says, shown is a right angle triangle, calculate the length of the missing side. Right, as we can see that hypotenuse is missing, so we'll be just using the formula c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. As we can see that we need bigger answer than both three and four because we are going to work with the longest side of the triangle. That's why if we write down the values there, so x squared is equal to three squared plus four squared. And then we need to work with just the value of x, not x squared. So I square root this side, and I also square root this side of the equation as well. And this will give me x equals nine plus 16 which is 25, square root of 25, and square root of 25, as we can see, can be either positive 5 or negative 5, but we must reject negative value because lengths are never negative. Lengths cannot be negative. So that's why x equals 5 meters. Moving to the next question, it says ABC is a right angle triangle. AB is equal to 15 centimeters, AC is equal to 8 centimeters, calculate the length of BC. Again, we can see the longer side is missing, so the answer we are expecting is going to be bigger than both 15 and 8. So using the Pythagoras theorem, x squared will be equal to 15 squared plus 8 squared. As we need to work with the value of x, so that's why we square root this side, but we also need to square root that side. So square root of 15 is 225, square root of 8 is 64. We add both of these answers, what are we going to get? We'll get 289. If we square root 289, we'll get 17. So the value of x is actually 17 centimeters. Let's move to question number three. It says, shown is a right angle triangle, work with the perimeter of the triangle. All right, so first of all, we need to work with the missing side. And this time, it's not the longest side. It's one of the shorter side. So that's why if we write down the equation, it will be x squared, plus six squared will be equal to 10 squared, because this is what a text still states. So if you take this six squared from both sides, x squared will be equal to basically 10 squared minus six squared. And we know that 10 squared is 100, and 100 take with 36 gives me 64. So square rooting both sides will give me x equals eight. So if x equals 8, what will be the perimeter equal to? The perimeter will be equal to 10 plus 8 plus 
6, which means 10 plus 8 is 18, 18 plus 6 is 24. So my final answer is 24 centimeters. And let's move to question number 4. It says LMN is a right angle triangle, LM is 20 meters, MN is 30 meters. Calculate the length of LM. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Right, so in this triangle, as you can see, the hypotenuse is given, so we, we should expect our answer smaller than 30. X squared will be to square 30 squared, take away, not add, and then we can square it both sides, and let's use a calculator. Right, so square root of 30 squared, take away 20 squared, will give me 10 root 5 over. This will give me 10 root 5 over 22.3606 dot dot. And if you round this answer to three significant figure, we will get. 22.4 meters, and this is correct to three significant figures. Let's move to question number five. It says ABCD is a rectangle, AD is 25 centimeters, AC 30 centimeters. Calculate the length of CT. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. Although this is a rectangle, but we are only concerned with the triangle. So you can think of that this, this length, length here is 25, this length here is 30. So we need to work on this missing side here. So I can ignore the rest of the rectangle. Right, again, I can see the longest side is given. So that's why I'm, what I'll do is I will write, say, if I call it x, so x will be equal to 30 squared minus 25 squared, and all of this square root it. And again, if I use the calculator for this, I have 30 squared minus 25 squared, I will get 16.583 dot dot. So basically, if I want to round this answer to one decimal place, I get 16.6, as this figure is by the figure. And this is centimeters, and my answer is correct to one decimal place. Right, moving to question number six, it says, work out the length in meters of AX. AX bisects BC at 90 degrees. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Right, so if I look at this triangle, this is an isosceles triangle, and an isosceles triangle, if it's not, and this is not right angle triangle, if I look at the triangle ABC. So we can't use Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangles. What we need to do is to work out this height here. I need to actually concentrate on half of this triangle. I will just be looking at this triangle, which is just half of this, but this is that right angle triangle. And the base of this right angle triangle is half because X is the midpoint of BC. So that's why this XC is five meters. And I call it X missing site. And to work out X as the hypotenuse is given, I can use the formula X equals square root of Eight squared take away. Why take away? Because I'm expecting my answer for x to be shorter than eight, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Take away five squared. Okay. And if I work this out, what will I get? I will get 64 take away 25, which will give me 39. Square root of 39, basically. 6.2449 dot dot. And as we are required to write this 
answer correct to two decimal places. So what I will do is I will look at the third decimal place. And if I look at third decimal place, this is less than five. So that's why my answer will be 6.24. I will not round it up. I will keep it as it is. So my final answer is 6.24 meters. Let's move to the next question. It says work out the area of the triangle. Right, to work out the area of the triangle, we use the formula area equals half times base times height. Thing is, we know it's base, but we don't know it's height. I know the 13 is height, but it's not perpendicular height. The height must be per perpendicular to the base. Right, to, so for this, I have to think of this triangle here. This being the straight height, this one, and then this one here. Think of this one, here I can see that the as X is a midpoint of BC, so that's why XC must be five meters. And if this is five meters and this is 13, to work out the missing side here, again, if the hypotenuse is given, I would write X equals square root of 13 squared takeaway, because I'm expecting my answer to be smaller than 13. And if I work this out, I will get 169 take away 25, and that will give me 144. And square root of 144 will be 12. So this side must be 12 meters. Right, so once we know that this is 12, then I can work out the area of the, area of the triangle will be then half times by base, which is 10 times by height, which is 12. So 10 times by 12 is 120, divide that by two, 60 meters squared. So my answer will be 60 meters squared. Moving to the next question, it says ABC is an isosceles triangle. Work out the length of X. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Right, so in this one here, we can see that two of the sides are missing. So as we know, according to Pythagoras' theorem, x squared plus x squared will be equal to t squared, which means that 2x squared is equal to 20 squared, which is 400. And then I can divide both sides by 2. That will give me x squared equals 200 x squared equals 200. To work out the value of x, I will square root both sides. So x will be equal to x squared equals 200. To work out the value of x, I will square root both sides. So x will be equal to 14.14. Right, so this will give me 14.1421 dot dot. So basically, if I want to round it to two decimal places only, I'll just look at this digit here, which is immediately next from the second decimal place. Okay. And so as this is less than five, so that's why my answer will stay the same. I will not round it up. So it will be 14.14 centimeters. Moving to the next question, it says ABCD is a trapezium. AD is parallel to BC. Angle A and angle B are 90 degrees. AD equals 25 meters. AB is equal to 20 meters. CD is equal to 29 meters. Work with the length of BC. Right, so this one here, I need to work with this whole length. But for this one at the moment, what I can think of is I should split this into two shapes. Okay, so one, if I draw the line up to there, and then I know that the line which goes like from B to say this point here, say if I call it point E, right? So again, what we can, what we need to do is we can also draw a line from there to there, right? At the moment, I know that the red line must be same as 
25. This must be 25 meters because this is same as the opposite side of that rectangle. And this side here must be 20 meters. Right, and to work on this side here, the green line or EC, what I will do is I, I have to use Pythagoras theorem just, uh, just for the right angle triangle. As this, there is, there's a right angle there, so that there must be a right angle here as well if I draw the perpendicular line. Right, so let's use the Pythagoras theorem as again, the longer side is given. So to work on the missing side EC, okay, EC must be equal to the square root of, and the longer side is given, so which means that this side must be shorter than 29. And to ensure that we have to do 29 squared, take away the other side, squared. Square root of 29 squared, take away 20 squared. And I actually get, and I will get exactly 21. So I mean this this is 21 meters. So it means that as we split BC into two lines, which is VE plus EC. So it means that 25 meters plus 21 meters, which will give me 46 meters.